guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. I have something different to show you tonight. Um, I wanted to extend my work surface. So my neighbor across the street is redoing her, her closets and she gave me this um, shelf. And I attached it with some um, hinges, the drop down hinges and I have a perfect surface to extend. Do bigger and better, well, hopefully better, hopefully better, sorry about that, bigger um, pieces, and it is all level. I am so proud of myself. It took me a couple days, but, you know, because I had to add an extension here to, um, it was almost like a, a faux wall with a couple of two by fours to attach these things to it. Okay, now I know it can drop down. So this is a little bit farther away than I was, and it's kind of rough here. So, and this is gonna serve two purposes. I'm gonna put a towel over here, really ugly, horrible towel that I would normally throw away. And I'm gonna wipe my brush on this when I need to wipe my brush. So we're gonna do a 15 by 30. But basically the same color palette. I was so happy, whoops put you back. I was um, so happy with that one piece. As a matter of fact, it sold immediately. It is now varnished. And somebody else wanted one just like it. So you know how that goes. We're going to try and do one just like it. However, you know, in paint pouring, that could be difficult. As a matter of fact, impossible. But it might not be because we're using brushes. So I'm going to try to get the same essence of that piece. So this is a 15 by 30 gallery wrapped um, Artist Loft Level 3. And we've got basically the same colors. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put some of this in here. We have, this is Titanium Buff. And I'm putting a little bit of Naples Yellow Red Light in it just to give it a little bit of, just to soften it up a bit. So we have our first hurricane out there in the Atlantic. I, I guess it's gonna be something really easy. You know, it's gonna be a tropical storm and it's not gonna be that, that big a deal. But, um, and then we have burnt umber and I put a little bit of copper in this. And somebody asked me, like, or told me, oh, I'm so glad you got rid of the brown. But the brown on the last one created depth. So I'm going to use it again. And we all, oh, this one is not ore this time. This is um, doo -doo 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 -doo, Pebio Acrylics and Precious Gold. I think it's called Precious Gold. Iridescent Precious Gold. This is Quinacridone. Nickel Azo Gold, which this is the custom made one. It's um, one I did in one of those videos. I'll link it. This is a custom color, several different greens. This is also a custom color, but I'll tell you what it is. This is Pebio Iridescent Green Blue mixed with Artist Loft Cobalt Blue, Metallic Cobalt Blue. Paints Gray and my ever lovely mwah, turquoise phthalo from Golden. All right, let's get started. So I have my brushes. This to me is the best brush. This is good for um, putting down the, um, the base. So I'm gonna start with this and then go to this. Um, I got this at Ali, AliExpress. Thank you, Lori Clary. And I do have some hake brushes too, just to blend a little bit. And then, oh, this one's a thinner brush. It's pretty stiff. These are nylon brushes. And um, just in case I need it. Okay, so I am going to, I'm gonna start with the brown first. Just a little bit of brown down. Brown down? <laughs> and I'm just going to, Wipe that over. I did mix my colors with Floetrol and water. I find it it goes on smoother and it um, blends better with the Floetrol. I tried it both ways and I kind of tend to like this way better. 
So this is basically exactly how I started last time. And I'm going to put a little bit on the sides, except for I have a little bit of glimmer here with the um, copper mixed in. my brush off oh my god this is going to be so freaking cool i didn't know it was going to have different um i didn't know i was going to have a multitasking thing here but i'm kind of glad oh thank god my uh, pump went off I've cleaned up a little bit okay guys this is looking a little busy for me so what I'm gonna do is just do a few strokes through it and um, soften it up a bit there you go that's it that's it that's all
Okay, guys. Whoops, sorry. Um, so, a few lessons learned here. And yeah, I know it doesn't look the same as when I left it last. I had to tweak it. But I do like the gold in it. Got those sh shimmering colors. And this is from a brush stroke. I love that. If I can replicate it many more times, I will. It's similar, but not quite the same. It's just practice, practice. But I did notice, if you're gonna use quinacridone nicolaso gold, use it straight because it doesn't really show up. Um, it's too transparent a color, so it doesn't need any more transparency with the Floetrol. So, and I kind of like this. Woo! <laughs> Sent you guys on a ride. Um, anyhow, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now. And I'll be doing more of these in kind of the same color palette because I just love this color palette in different sizes so that I can um, practice um, doing them on bigger ones too. Talk to you later. Bye now.